Yeah. Oh, make sure it's water so I have Shana all the bro. fun you can. Okay, I will. It looks so beautiful. Yeah, so, right. Make sure to enjoy your honeymoon. Yeah. Please do well to take care of her for me. Have fun. Yeah. Belina, you lied to me. You lied to me. I'm so bad at teaching. I'm Calm down, calm down. Joy, please just start coming, okay? Start coming for me, yo. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm all right now. I am on, on my way. Okay. Belinda? Belinda? So you lied to me? You lied to me? You told me you were a virgin, whereas you are not. You made me spend all those money in our wedding, hoping that I got married to a saint. I'm sorry, I never knew I married to a public toilet. Ah. <sighs> You are disgusting, Belinda. You are. I hate you. You know what? Pack your things. We are leaving here right away. I said pack your things. We are leaving. Brian, please. Brian, please. Don't let me repeat my. Mind. You just have to understand. Nonsense. Brian. I don't understand, okay? I'm sorry. Brian, I think no one came over me. Who is that? It's Belinda. Belinda is our help. I don't understand. Did she tell you that? I heard her crying, begging Brian, and Brian was shouting at her. And you think that's a good enough reason for you to intrude? Come on, don't go there and embarrass yourself. Just wait. If she needs our help, she's going to call us, okay? What kind of a man are you? So you expect me to sit down here and wait till Brian kills her? Eh? Um, we were not involved in this at first. If they need our help, they will call us. They don't need our help for now. Just wait. When they need our help, they'll let us know, okay? What Just kind of a man down. are you? Come to come with me. If you're not going, then I'm going to the shop and go. Who is it? It's Joy. Joy? Yeah, Joy. Yeah, Joy, come in. Yeah, Joy, how are you? I'm fine. Yes, I uh, hope there's no problems. No, please, where is Belinda? Belinda, yeah, she's fine. Belinda is okay. Yeah, she's. 
Any pro hope no problem. No, can I see her please? No, 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 my dear, you can't. Okay, for now, um, you are interrupting something. Okay, this is a I, I need just five minutes. I think you we'll... can't. For now, we are busy. Is she okay? She's fine. She's very well. So, I... how is her husband? He's fine. Okay, are, are, are you right. sure she's fine? Beautiful. What is it? Is anyone no. after you? Come on, Murphy. You have to follow me now. Go find out what happened between Brian and Belinda. Did you see Belinda? No. Brian just gave me one flimsy excuse about she and Belinda being in a session and he doesn't want me or anyone to interrupt them. I don't understand. Something is telling me Belinda is not in a good shape. Because I overheard Brian shouting at her when, when I was going to their hotel room. Alright. Call Belinda. Okay. Who is with the phone? Brian! I've told you, they could be in a section, they could be making love, they could... Anything could be happening. You have to follow me now, seriously. Press up, let's go. Here. Take, 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 press up, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, press up! Okay, okay, okay. I've heard you. Is this your father's house? You want to enjoy honeymoon with this public? Come on, come on. Sit, sit, sit. Belinda, I will beat you. Murphy. Murphy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Wow. Hey, See my guy. <laughs> How you guys doing? I'm good, bro. How are you doing? Yeah, How's your wife? Yeah, she's fine as you can see. How are you, Joy? I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. See you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we just came to check up on you guys. You we did well, bro. Yeah, we yeah. Well. We're, we're kind of going to have a romantic shower, you know? Yes, really? Okay, I see that. <laughs> so, okay, so we were thinking, and how about we have a dinner together this evening at Angel's Ring Restaurant? Wow, that would be nice. Uh, no, sweetie, that won't be nice. You know, bro, we are fine here. Okay. The hotel has sweet delicacies, meals, okay. right, sweetie? We'll have everything when they're here, don't worry. Maybe we'll fix it for another time. Yeah. Alright, make sure. Yeah, sure, sure, she will call you. So she you know what, um, we're going to postpone this uh, dinner for some other time. Exactly. exactly. Uh, we, are, we must have this dinner. Hey, very, very, well. very well, very well. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Let's be on our way, okay? Alright. All right. Take care. All right. I told you that I'm fine. Okay, yeah, good. Come on. Let's go. Leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. See, this is my honeymoon and I'm, I want to enjoy it. See this one? Is this your father's house? Now your papa build here. He wants me to stay here with this public toilet. This is not what I order for, but this is what I want now. I'm...
Belinda? Yes. What is going on? Why are you not parked and what, what are you lying down here? For what? What? Baby, where are we going to? Huh? It's supposed to be our honeymoon. Are we supposed to be here? Do not ask me questions when I give an order. I just asked you to pack your things. We are leaving this hotel right away. I don't like this place anymore. Yes, I'm taking you to another place. Get up, get up, get up. Fast, my dear. Don't know where you're taking me to. that you want us to do our honeymoon? You will soon find out, my dear. You will soon find out. You cheap liar. Right. Lying bitch. Jesus. When did I lie to you? <laughs> tell, eh? that, tell that to the Reverend Father when we get there. And I'm going over. Here we are. Out. Get up. Get up. Get that from that. Brian, what out, is it? Out. I'm going nowhere. Okay, get down. I'm going stop. nowhere. Brian, stop this. Come. Brian. You take a half all day. This way. Brian, what is wrong with you? It's fine. Right. Brian, will you stop? This is great. <laughs> Sister, thank God I saw you. Brother Brian. Sister Belinda. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. Yeah, uh, sorry, Sister, please. Uh, uh, is the Reverend Father in the office? No, 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 no. He traveled immediately after your wedding. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, I hope there is no problem. No, 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 we're fine. So, when is he coming back? I can't tell for sure. It's okay, it's no problem. All right. See you. What is the meaning of this? If you dare touch me again, if you dare touch me again, if you dare ever drag my clothes again, you will regret ever getting married to me. Do you hear me? Nonsense. Drag my clothes again. Brian! Brian, I'm not afraid of you! Brian! I am not afraid of you! Look at you! Coward! Are you leaving me here? Seriously, are you seriously leaving me here?
Where go to the car and get my bag. Yes. Get the bags. Ryan, can you tell me what nonsense is this? What kind of thing is this? Huh? What was that you did? Eh, Brian? I don't understand you. Did you marry me? What to... is it? What is it? In my own very house, I'm not gonna have peace again. Why? Just because I got married to a little witch like you. Can't I have atom of peace in my house again? Let this be your first and the last. You talk to me in that manner. This isn't why you married me. Oh. Hope you know that. This isn't why you married me. What kind of thing is that? You don't marry me to embarrass me. Is that the reason why you got married to me? You better start talking. Shut up. Shut up. Or else what? Listen. Be warned. I'm going to my bedroom. Let me not see you behind me. Because if I do, and I mean every word I said. Nonsense. You can't threaten me. This is my house. It's equally my house and I have every right to be wherever, wherever I want to be. Brian! What has come over you? We're supposed to be in our honeymoon and not this. Eh? I can't take this anymore. I can't bear this. You can do what? What did you just say? Belinda, what did you just say? You can't take what anymore. Say it! Carly, your sudden change of attitude and silence is eating me up. I can't take this. I can't bear to see this marriage is too young for this. It's too early. If you don't want me anymore, okay, I can understand. Just take me back to the priest so that he can... Shut up! Shut up! Deserve what my food. Shut down your mouth before I shut it up myself. Are you mad? Oh, oh, oh. You think you're smart, huh? So, you think going to the priest to dissolve this marriage will solve this issue? No, sweetheart. Lying and betrayal of this magnitude is big enough reason to dissolve this marriage. Did you hear me? What lie and betrayal are you talking about here? I don't know. I want you. Good day, ma. My food is served. I'm not hungry. Ma, please, I don't know what it is that's making you cry. But whatever it is, I would advise you to hand it over to God. Come on, come on, get up, get up. Go dress up, cause we're going down to your village people to deserve. To it. do what, Brian? To do what? Are you asking me questions? Are you asking me questions? But you just suggested we go to the priest to dissolve the marriage. Oh, because you now know he is not around. No, you lie, my dear. You lied. 
get up, go dress up, because we're going down to see your people. That was where I got married to you, paid your bride price, and not in the church. Brian, what is wrong with you? What has gone over you? What has come over you, Brian? You are still asking me questions. Come on, get Brian. up. Move aside. Oh, Brian. What is wrong with you? Brian. Oh, Brian, you're hurting me. Brian. Brian, please let go of my hand. Brian. Oh. Okay, Move. Brian, it is the love you professed to me before I accepted to get married to you. Brian, please. You're hurting me. That love died the very day I discovered that you're a liar. Your life is full of lies. You are just a pathological liar. That was the very day that that love I had for you died. It's no more. I'm not gonna warn you again. Go dress up. Friend, I'm moving in where? You know what? Go back here! Open this door. Where are you? Where are you? I need you. Come to my house right now. Please, Joy. Please. Joy, please. I am I'm, I'm not okay at all. I'm not okay. Something is wrong. Please, Joy, where are you? You're not around. Hey. Okay. Joy, see, I need you like today, tomorrow. Please, try as much as possible to come. We can discuss on phone. Joy, please. Please help me. Please come, come to my house. Please. Hey, hey, hey. What are you still doing here? What did I just tell you? I'm talking to you, Belinda. What did I just tell you? To go pack your things and leave my house. And here you are sitting down. Oh. Her royal majesty. You want to beat me, I know. I know you want to beat me. Go ahead. Beat me. Beat me. But I'm not leaving this house. What do you want people to say? You want them to mock me, right? Eh? That I'm married within a short period of time and now I'm divorced. See, I'm not going anywhere. Kill me if you want. I won't leave. How are you? I'm fine. Wow, good to see you. Good to see you too. Who is she? My auntie. Okay, okay. Come now, tell me, Belinda, why, why are you avoiding? I, I don't get it. Are you avoiding me or you are trying? I don't, I don't just understand. You refuse to come to visit me at home. Why? It's not like I don't want to. But the fact that whenever I come to your house, you're always trying to do. And I, I don't, I don't want that. You know, I'm a virgin. I'm still trying to keep this in until my after my ah, marriage. Ah, I've seen where you are driving this to. You are a virgin. Wait, no. let me let me even ask you. This thing that you keep telling me that you are a virgin, you are a virgin. 
Are you really very sure that you're a virgin? Are you? If I'm not a virgin, would I tell you that I'm a virgin? I know why I'm saying it. Are you a virgin? Because it's hard to, these days to see a full grown up girl like you was very succulent to tell me that she's still a virgin. It's hard. I am. Are you sure? Yes, no. I can't lie to you. So you want me to wait till we get married before I will go down there? Exactly. Okay. Oh. It's okay, I'll wait. So you mean you're going no to No problem, wait? I'll wait. Let her come to the house so okay. we can have a little celebration. Oh, I will. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Okay. you can't we just make love for once haven't i not tried waiting for this let's make love please i need it once but well. sweetie stop remember we had agreement that there will be no sex in this relationship until we are officially married eh? see you just said it let's wait it's one month to have you know we still have enough Please. How long have I have, have waited almost a year? Almost a year. Which man on this earth will do this? I've been faithful and waiting. Almost a year. Just if not the, if just the cap, let me just touch. Babe. You have tried. But just don't let us spoil this thing. Hmm? See, it's just one more to our wedding. And you will have me all to yourself the way you want it. Huh? Baby, please. Baby, please. Are you pushing me away now? Honey. Baby, please. You know you've been waiting. Let's not spoil this thing. Please, now. Very soon we'll be officially married. And you will have me all to Just yourself. Just let me be, please. Let me be. I'm sorry I lied to you. I I just I did that just to keep you. I didn't want to lose you, honey. I'm wait, 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 wait. What what did he say again? You lied to keep me in your life. What sort of nonsense is that? You can't lie to keep me. No, I am not that kind of man. You lie and keep same time. It's not possible, my dear. It's not. But since you decide to stay. Two things are involved. They said a living dog is better than a dead lion. I'm going to make this house a living hell for you. So if you insist, you're welcome. I mean, I'm sorry. Please. There is nothing to forgive. I've made my point. Ryan, forgive me now. Ryan, forgive me. Please forgive me. Who is it? It's Muffy. Muffy? Come, come, come. Yeah, bro. <laughs> come in, my guy. <laughs> hey. hey. What's happening here? Wow. Hey, bro. What's Love up bets. now? How are you doing? Okay. Surprised to see you guys. Is everything fine? Yeah, yeah. We're beautiful. We are cool. Yeah. Sure? Of course. You sounded so worried, Often. Are you okay? Worried, baby? Are you worried? No, she's not. <laughs> Everything is fine. Are you sure? Yeah, very sure. <laughs> I went to the hotel to check on you guys and I heard you guys log and lodged out. You what did? Happened? Yes, I did. 
Oh, sorry, bro. I'm, uh, sorry to let you guys know. We checked out from the hotel, so we are moving to a new hotel, a place that befits my beautiful wife. So we came to the house to pick some I bags, you know. Much. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Um, uh, bro, please, uh, we'll meet at the club. I'm kind of uh, in a romantic mood with my wife. Oh. Certain has some sweet issues. Right. So it's a good thing you guys are, you know, getting together and, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll talk on phone, we'll hang out at the club. So, since you guys are doing no that, problem, no problem. Yes, we'll just get away. Yeah, see right. you at the club. All so, right. take care of yourself. I will, bro. I will be yeah. Take care. I'll see you some other time. Enjoy your home. Right? Thank, yeah, you. Can Thank, see you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can see that. Yeah. All right. All right baby Bye. I'll see you some other That's time. Away, okay. And please do well to take care of her for me. Bye. What was the meaning of that? Who called them? You did, right? No. You see what I was trying to avoid? I don't want this issue to escalate outside. I hate people coming to beg me just because of you, telling me, Brian, sorry, you'll forgive. No, 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 I don't need such. But now, see what you've caused. Very well then. Belinda, leave my house. I said, leave my house. Belinda, leave my house. I'm not going to say it again. Get up, leave my house. Out of my house. Get out, get out. Get out of my house. Brian, why are you taking my bag to? Brian, Brian, leave my bag. Where are you taking my bag to? Do what? What did he just say? I loved you. Yeah? I gave you all that you deserved. I am not sending you out there just because you are not a virgin. No, I am not. Do not depend for part of it. You lie too much. The lies, the deceit, the betrayal is much. And let this sound as a lesson to your fellow women out there who think they can lure or manipulate a man into a marriage with deceit, lies. It's not me. It's not me. Okay. Abby! Brian. Abby, come here! Brian, are you calling me before? Sir. You are still asking me, sir. Take this thing out! Don't you dare! Don't touch my bag! Abby! Don't! Hey, do you want to lose your job? No, no, sir. But I said, don't. What's wrong with you? Ma, please, I don't want to lose my job. Halele! Hey. Out! Brian, my love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. Fast, 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 fast! Abby! Abby! Fast! Look at you. Oh. Run that gate hey. and I don't want to see this woman in my compound again. If I do, you will visit your forefathers. Right. 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 Don't do this to me. Right. Good day, sir. Yes, good day, Obi. How are you? I'm good, thank you, sir. What can I do for you? Yes, sir, please, I want to talk to you about something. You want to talk to me about something? Yes, sir. Uh, go ahead, I'm listening. Sir, please don't give the devil opportunity to succeed with his plan in your marriage. Please, sir. Please, bring Madame back. Bring her back home, please, sir. Shut up! Shut up! Sorry, sir. What is the meaning of this? And who the hell are you to advise me? Sorry, sir. 
Do you want to lose your job? No, sir. Do you want to lose no, your sir. job? No, sir. I'll serve the advice of God. Hey! It's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Hey, you've been crying like this since you came back. How long will you continue? You will hurt yourself. Eh? The crying is not going to solve anything. Let her come to the house so we can have a little celebration. Oh, I will. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. My guy. Obviously, see the way you're blushing. He's cute, though. Aww. He's fine. I have eye for good things. I know, I know. But wait. I overheard something. It's not as if I was eavesdropping on your conversations, but. Did you just tell him that you're a virgin? That. Yes, no. These days, that's the best thing to do to keep them. You just lied to him. Or are you a virgin? I'm not a virgin. That's what we have to do these days to keep men. If you don't do it, they will leave you. Didn't you hear him say, Hey, you are a virgin. Okay, I will hasten up the wedding plan so that you can get that. If I don't say that, he will not hasten up any wedding plan and it's just going to be a normal relationship. I am tired. Uh -huh. So let me go into the real thing. My friend Joy did it. And today, she's happily married and still in the marriage, enjoying it. So you're doing this because your friend Joy did it and it's working for her? Yes. <laughs> let me tell you something. That it worked for A does not mean it will work for B. Eh? What do you think will happen if, if he finds out after marriage that you're not a virgin? Love. He will be heartbroken and that might cost you your marriage. He will not do anything. Love will blind his eye. See, are you praying good prayers for me or not? Ah, of course. I want my little niece to get married. Eh? But not this way. Anyways, if you say it's going to work for you, fine. I cannot discourage you. I cannot stop you. It will work. You know, I warned you. I, how if only you listened to me, if only you took my advice. I don't want to lay blames, but that's the truth. Eh? It has happened now. Just just calm down. Calm down. Stop crying. Lay blames. I need the blames. It's my fault. It was not my fault. I need the blames now. Lay the blames. Let it keep coming. It is okay. It is fine. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be fine. <sighs> yeah? Maybe with time, things will fall into place. We'll go and talk to him. I know that right now he is hurting. He might not want to listen to anybody. But as time goes on, he will calm down. Okay? <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. He will I'm calm sure down. He will calm down. Like he doesn't listen to anyone. You know that. There must be somebody he listens to that can go and talk to him for us. You told me you know one of his un uncles that he listens to. Hey, maybe we'll go and meet him now, we'll talk to him. Probably he will listen to him. Huh? <laughs> crying like this now. You've been crying since you came back, huh? Uh -uh. Crying does not solve anything. <laughs> Said no longer stay there. What happened? Doesn't want me anymore. 
Ray doesn't want me anymore. Come on, Belinda, talk to us. What really transpired? We just came from Brian's house right now, and he was so furious, saying he's no longer ready with his marriage, he's fed up and stuff like that. Like, he didn't really give us the, the story in details. What really happened? What transpired? Come on, you can talk to us, you know we are your friends. You can confide in us. Happen. Is it not you? Look at what you've cost me now. You told me to lie to Brian that I was a virgin. And now I lied. Look at what it has cost me. Eh, look at it. I'm not back to my house. My sister's house. Look at it. That reminds me. My husband's friend, Brian, he said he likes you. But well, you're not giving him any attention. Oh, don't you like him? I do. I like him a lot. But you know guys now, and the way they behave, once they get in between your legs and get that thing that they want, they run away. I don't want to be dumped. I am tired of entering a relationship, into a relationship and coming out. I want to be married. Hey, I don't want to be dumped. That's the reason why. You have a point still. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if he sleeps with you, if he will still get married to you. Come to think of it. Don't you think you should lie to him? Yeah, lie. Mm -hmm. Tell him you're a virgin. Don't sleep with him. Oh. Tell him you're a virgin. Don't study with my husband. That was why he hastened up the marriage. You see? We are married. Hmm. So, after the marriage, I, I'm sure he found out what happened. He felt bad. But we are already married now. So, we moved on. And we are good. Hmm. I think that's a good idea. You should definitely give it a try out. I will give it a try I'm sure I will. <laughs> my friend, my friend. You know I have everything covered. Ah, ah. Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't need to resort to this. Please, I'm so sorry. I didn't need to resort to this. Ah, people actually differ, so. I didn't need to resort to this, please. I'm so sorry. I was thinking that this has worked for me. It will also work for you. I didn't know Brian was actually this difficult. I didn't know. I'm so sorry, please. But at least, now that I found out what happened, I will make sure I go back to Brian. I will plead on your behalf. I will do anything possible for him to bring you back. I'm so sorry, please. I'm really sorry. Please stop crying, oh. Please. Crying. What will you have me do? What will you have me do? I'm just coming back from your husband's house. I want to plead on your behalf. And from the look of things, I don't think it's possible. He won't say divorce. I've pleaded and pleaded, but he's not accepting it. I think we just have to move on. Move on. Really? Move on, you say. Right? I should move on. And it's that easy for you to say, right? It's that easy. Move on. Just move on.
Belinda, mm -hmm. I'm here with you again. I'm still trying to talk you into this whole thing. I really love you. Wouldn't you marry me, please? please. Are, are you sure about that? Of course, yes. Wouldn't you be my wife? <sighs> you want to marry me? For real? Look, I'm not kidding here. I'm very serious, Belinda. Trust me. Mm. Remember the other time I told you the same thing? And I've been coming. You will not understand. What's there not to understand? Is this something you're not telling me? See, I'll think about it, okay? Oh God. You remember you said this before. You're saying it again. You could still say it tomorrow. Mm. Just be my wife. That's all I ask of you. Look at you all beautiful. I go go to my house and think about you. Everywhere I go to, it's all about you in my head. Please, Belinda, marry me. Okay, just give me some time to think about it, okay? Uh, I will think about it and I will give you feedback. You know you've said this over and over again. You sure, right? I'm giving you that doubt, right? Please. Yes. Did you get everything? Yes, I did. Okay. Aha. Um, remember that guy I told you about? The Obiora guy. Obiora, yes. yes, yes mm -hmm. I what about him? Did you, I saw him again today. But the way I'm seeing things, eh? It's as if he's serious. Eh? He wants to get married to me and he's serious about it. Mm. Are you serious? Yes. He wants to get married to you. Ah! This is good news now. Eh? It's good news. If he's really serious, let him come and see your people. He should come and see us. He's welcome. Mm. Hmm? Of course. Are you feeling somehow about it? No. Relax. Eh? This one will work out. Hmm? Mm. Uh -huh. But I will advise you. Before you go on with this marriage, remember what happened to you? Hmm? Ah. Tell him everything about you, of course. You have to also tell him about your previous marriage. Mm -hmm. hey, you must not tell him how it ended or what happened, but let him know that you were once married. What if he gets to find out from someone else? It's it's somehow now. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You have to let him know. No lies this time around. If he's really ready to marry you, if he loves you so much and willing to get married to you, of course he'll go ahead and do it. Nothing will stop him. Hmm? Okay. Don't worry, this will work out well. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Alright, let's go. Hey, Belinda. Yes? You know, I want us to hasten this whole thing up. Like with the shortest time we have here. Mm -hmm. I understand, but you don't know me. What else do you expect me to know? I know you, Belinda. Hmm? I do. And looking at you, you're just a woman of my dream. So what more do I have to know? Or is this something you're not telling me? You don't really know much about me. Okay. I hmm. think I should just um tell you things you need to know. Mubira, see, I once had a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I had two abortions for him. For you? Yeah, he wasn't really serious and he wasn't ready for the to get married. He wasn't ready for the child. So he, he asked me to get rid of it. Two abortions? Yes. I thought he was ready. But it was when I told him and he said that I should get rid of it. That was when I knew he wasn't ready for the child. 
I'm sorry. Belinda. Mm -hmm. You know what? If you would allow me, just allow me to think, right? We'll talk some other time. Obiora. Don't worry, we'll close up, we'll talk. Obiora, are, are you leaving me here? Hey! Obiora! What kind of a life is this? No, he has gone. What will I do? You see? Tell him, tell him, and no. Did I make you cry? He said I should tell him everything. Tell him the truth about myself. And now I told him and he has walked out of me. You told the whole truth about yourself. Who did you tell the whole truth about yourself? Obiora now. Obiora. Wait. You told him that you were once married and he walked out on you. Eh. But when I told him I was married, he wasn't too angry. Uh -huh. eh. So I felt since I said that one and he's not angry. And the next one, he won't be angry. So I, after telling him I was once married, and he wasn't angry, and I told him all that things about myself. What else did you tell him that got him so angry that he had to walk out on you? I told him I once had two abortions. <laughs> Belinda, eh? you had two guinea. Two abortions. You? Two abortions? For who? <laughs> hey! You mean like this, you have had two abortions? What did you have two abortions for? Hmm. And you never mentioned anything like that to me. <sighs> hey! This girl. How can you tell a man you've had abortions? Which man in his right senses is like, will take that? What will I do now? Eh? When you said I should tell him the truth, I had to now. Come on now. I told you to say the truth, tell him about yourself. I did not say you should tell him this kind of thing now. I didn't even know you've had abortions before. Two. Hey. It's because you said I should tell him now. That's the reason why I told him everything. So he walked out on you? He walked out on Hey. <laughs> ah, that's the... Oh, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Hey. Don't worry. Don't worry, me. I strongly believe that he will come back for you. Hmm. Hey, he's just angry. As a man, of course, there's no man you will tell that kind of thing that will not react. He's just angry. Maybe after a while, he will calm down. That one I saw. Hmm. He will not come back, oh, with the way I saw him. He will not come back. It's okay, don't worry, eh? It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. My dear, I understand how you feel. But the truth is that my niece had to open up herself to you because of the love she has for you, you know? It takes really um, great courage for a woman to open up to tell a man the, tr the truth about herself. She did that because of the level of love she has for you. So please, I would like you to have a rethink. Hmm? Biko. She has been crying. She has been crying. She has not been able to eat. She's my niece and I care so much about her. So I hate to see her like that. That's why I've come to talk to you. Please. You know, I've heard all that you said. And I understand you a great deal, but... 
you will just have to give me some time so I can go over and over again through this and see how I can manage this alright please I just need some time alright mm. I want to assure you that whatever she told you will not stop anything if you decide to marry her you people will be happy together and you will have children hmm? so please think about it very very well please I really will do. I just um, need some more time. Okay, let me just go over it and whatever I come up with, I'll link you up. Okay. Yes, I will. Okay. All right, then. Thanks for coming by. All right. Hey. Belinda, it's okay now. You are holding yourself. How long will you continue like this? I can't stop. This is the second guy now. This is the second guy. It's okay. You have to stop. Look at you. You've not been eating. You've just been crying. If anything happens to you now, what, what, what would you want me to do? Oh yeah, please, it's okay. <laughs> Who is there? Please come in. You know, I've come to realize that you're the actual kind of woman I want to get married to. I am mean, grateful for the fact that you had to tell me the truth and everything. Okay? I need you to cheer up. You know, I love you. I really love you. And that's why I want to marry you. I'll be coming here with my people to see your people so we can continue with the marital rights. So I need you to cheer up, okay?